Yep. Sure. Alright. Oh. Barring the chips, I'm just hungry. Okay, so um This is house guess. House guess. I guess I have nothing really for this one because I'm a little upset with this episode. Um I have no clue. Okay, I know how Steven's powers work. It's all based on emotion. What he's going through. Yeah. Mostly positive emotion, like being determined, protecting those he cares about, love and all that. That's how the shield got up. But I didn't know you could lose powers based on emotion. Or if you can at all. Maybe... Maybe he still has them. He just can't heal giant rocks. That might be it. But I don't know. Basically, um, this is like a follow up to the. This takes me like immediately after the last two episodes because yeah. um, Greg's leg's still broken. And uh, I know this is like halfway through the season, so there must have been a hiatus somewhere um, because Steven's voice sounds different. Yep. It's a little. It's a little lower. Yeah, because the guy's like seventeen. Zach Callison is like seventeen, eighteen. Somewhere. Yep, one of those things you can't really fix or change at all. But Stephen ages in this show, so it can make sense. Like the same actor who plays Finn on Adventure Time has been doing it for five years, and his voice always sounds different as each, as the season progresses. Hmm. So that may be doing the same thing here. Yeah. Okay. Just roll with it. So yeah, uh, like it's puberty. We can't change it. Just go with it. <laughs> so Greg's leg is broken, and I guess he can't afford a doctor because he has duct tape and a stick. Two sticks. Two sticks. Both <laughs> sides. Keeping his. But no, no crutch or nothing. He's just like, nope. Just do it yourself. Yeah. Uh, so they're fixing up the van because it got screwed up from last time, and yeah, it got destroyed last time. Mm hmm. Very messed up, destroyed. Uh, so, but according to Pearl, it's a simple human contraption that she can easily fix. Well, she's been on the Earth for five thousand years, so she, maybe she learned how to fix cars. She learns how to. She knows how to drive. Apparently. So she might know a thing or two about cars. Yep. And we'll get into that in the next episode. Oh, oh in the last episode, I've been meaning to bring up. Remember when we got to the whole timey wimey thing with the going through different parts of the show with Steven versus Steven Stevens. and the Stevens. And he goes... And he, we... Yeah, it goes to Rose's room, it goes to here, it, and... It goes into, like, the the, 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 the last... Act, yeah, the last... The last act of Gem Glow when he's, like, burying the cookie cats. Yeah, and before that, there's this one... You met. You brought up last time where there's. It's all a desert. It's all desert with a few boats, and <laughs> I brought. And I thought that this was. Hey, this must be when Lapis took the ocean or mm -hmm. something. Yeah, so, I forgot about that, but. Actually, anyway, let's probably go back to the. It's kind of like Gravity Falls. Is it, was he really yeah. there? Because there's they a thing. Here's a short too. thing from the future. Have some foreshadowing. Mm-hmm. So Stephen, like, I mean, Amethyst tells Stephen, like, what well, you have healing powers. You're basically Jesus now. Can you just heal the light? Okay. Yeah. There we go. Nothing. Uh, or should it work? Um, <laughs> gotta fake it, gotta fake it. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> yeah, he's faking the whole damn time. Yeah, he's faking it, uh, which I, I guess he had a reason. He did have a reason. He wanted to spend more time with his kid, because honestly... This guy never spends any time with his kid. Yeah, he's until, always with the until gems. Stephen just comes and visits now and then. Well, but. he he means well. I mean, keep in mind, Doug. Yeah. This man lives in a van. He has a he has a paying job, which he doesn't. He, I guess he only like whenever he gets a paycheck uh, from the business. Uh, he spends like he gets like maybe like sixty bucks on food and gas, and the rest of the money he goes to, he sends that to Stephen. Yeah, for his. Food and stuff. Mm -hmm. So he's still taking care of him financially. Yeah, so he's being a good parent. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, yeah, so. Yeah, no, never mind. Uh, so yeah, he, he's still a good father. He, he, he still sees him from time. He still buys him stuff. Yeah. Uh, but he means well. I know he means well, but I don't know. I, I guess he was just being a little too selfish here. So just a, a bit, little... because he's. 
he'd be damn well happy to have a fucking bed, to have a bed to sleep on, to be somewhere other than. I don't even think he has a van. I think cramped. he just has like a crap ton of clothes or something. I don't yeah. know what he has in the van. Yeah, but still, it'd be a nice change of pace from cramped ass van to open wide little apartment. Mm-hmm. Or a beach house like Stevens. He's lucky. Yeah. So yeah, he gets to spend time with Steven, you know, just having fun, watching TV, you know, playing with the guitars and the ukuleles and just, just having a good time, really. Yeah. Until the gems come in and have them do a task. Uh, yep. They have to... Like, Here's a mission. Okay, since Greg is going to be pathetic. Here's a whistle <laughs> that will let you some call for us. We'll come by if there's an emergency. What was it? The, the warp whistle. Whistle. So yeah, they have to go to this world uh, where they have to patch up a geode because it's cracked and it could destroy life there, I think. It can... It's pretty much a big, powerful gem thing that looks like it's the size of a very tiny moon. Mm -hmm. And it can potentially go boom and take half of the world with it or something. Something like that. Very, very dangerous. They don't explain much. And even when they do, uh, Greg is still with the warp whistle, just whistling to check it if it works. And uh, what was the other thing? Check if it works and... Um, where's the remote? Yes, where's the remote? Because that was important, apparently. Yeah, it is. that is a very important question. <laughs> oh, found it. Never mind. It was important. Well, to a 12 year old, it's important to find the remote. Don't worry, it was very important. Mm -hmm. It was urgent. So uh, uh, they asked if, he, if Steven could patch it up with the healing powers. Doesn't work. Yeah. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Damn it. So now he's a little confused as to why the hell it's not working because first, he can't heal his dad. Now he can't heal this so thing. He, so he, he goes. He, he doesn't feel that confident when he's attempting, okay. But what if I can't? What if it's like my dad and I can't do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is. So then they warp him back, and he's a little upset because his dad keeps like calling him for unimportant stuff. Like I have an know. idea how they can fix it. What? Get a bucket. Go to the, go to Rose's little, sanctuary garden. Get a big bucket of those tear things, and then go back to the thing. Sure. Maybe it's a question of amount of stuff that maybe. goes into it. If it's, it's possible, maybe. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. They introduce a lot of stuff in here, so I, I keep forgetting what, like, all that stuff, so maybe, like, they should go back and, oh, what if they did this, put it here? I don't know. Yeah. What if we take this and move it somewhere else? Mm -hmm. Bad joke. Yeah, okay. Steven finds out that he was faking the... He, he did have a broken leg, but it was already healed because Stephen healed it. Yep. And you he, kind of healed it back in the car rush. And now Stephen's upset because he feels. You like, freeloading dick. <laughs> yeah, he was. He wasn't. I, I, I don't like. I said it's hard to like him here. I I, I appreciate he. It's well, easier to like him in other episodes, but not this one. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, guy but, who shares my name. <laughs> but he did try to redeem himself. He tried to yeah. fix the thing. I mean, he, he doesn't even, like, wait for Steven. He just, like, tries to warp himself over there. And apparently that works. Well, I think humans can only do it when, like, they're either around a gem or they have something that helps them do it. Like the warp whistle. That apparently does so. Neat. Mm -hmm. So now Steven feels like he's, like, a little more confident. Maybe he can go up to, uh, to the that geo thing and fix it. And they do it the way humans fix most things. With duct tape. Because duct tape is the answer to everything. So yeah, like I said, I'm really confused on how his powers work because I don't know if, if he if if he can only heal gems and humans and not rocks, or if he just can't heal anybody anymore. I hope he can still heal people. That I way. just hope like he doesn't go a little crazy and say like, "Hey, Connie, can I cut you like on your arm for a second? I just need to check if my powers work again." No, she would slap the shit out of him. <laughs> you know what? 
Alright, Steven, here's something you can heal. <laughs> <laughs> no cut. No. No. <laughs> And uh, I, I guess I'm not sure how this decision works because I don't know I don't know how these uh, the, the writers work exactly. I, I know that um, I don't know if it's like a one big meeting and then they decide like okay what does Sugar want want da, 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 or if the writers take liberties and do their own thing uh, because um, I don't know um, judging these um, there uh, Amy doesn't like these two writers in particular because they mostly write filler episodes. And when they do write a giant story, it's usually like, you know, there's a balance that's kind of off. Also, it's because they storyboarded the episode, the animators like to, for some reason, I, this is kind of a cute idea, they like to animate using the style of that particular writer. So in this case, uh, Lamar Abrams and Helen Joe, whenever they storyboard the characters, they always look like their eyes are huge and they're all separated and they just got big pupils. They look like... Fish eyes, that's what the, she calls them, fish eyes. Big eyes are creepy sometimes. So, but they're hit and miss. They wrote the Monster Buddies episode, and I thought that was a great episode. Yeah, that was a cute episode. That was a really cute episode. And yeah. So that's it for this one. Yeah, that's it, really. A freeloading dad who spends time with his son. And but he means it. well. I who still means well. And fixing stuff with duct tape. It and always works. A debate on whether or not his powers still work. Yep. Duct tape will. But his powers. Never Maybe. Know. Till then, I'm the Epid Tie Guy. I'm Roberto Spinoza. And we'll see you next time. I wonder if my saliva heals stuff.